you go to the wampserver.com forward slash en forward slash download dot php and you click on the download WAMP server link which is in the box which I've uh, pointed an arrow to and what I've done is I've just gone ahead and downloaded on my desktop so if I go to my desktop all I have to do is double click on the WAMP server executionable file I'm gonna proceed to unzip this WAMP server and put it on my C drive. Please be patient while it unzips. You follow the wizard and click on next and you go ahead and click on the I accept agreement and as I said we're going to download it in the C drive so the directory should be C colon forward slash WAMP W-A-M-P I don't want to create a quick launch I don't want to create a desktop icon so I'm gonna click next and I'm just gonna simply install it's asking you do you want Firefox to use the default browser and I'm gonna say yes once all the files have been extracted, we're almost finished the installation process. Right before you finish installing WAMP, there's going to be a PHP mail parameters window that's going to pop up. You're just going to leave it at the default settings and leave the SMTP as local host and because we're not going to be emailing we just leave it at you at your domain.com and click on the next button great you can click on the finish button now I'm just gonna go ahead as you can see the where I've pointed the mouse to this is the WAMP that's right here so if we were to click on it you're gonna see you're gonna see that the WAMP server is online so First, we're going to find our Drupal installation and download on our desktop. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to double click on the Drupal 6.9 zip file. We're going to open with something called WinZip, the zip extractor program. And yes, we want to decompress it to a temporary folder and it's extracting now. Then we're going to click on Actions and we're going to click extract. We're going to extract it to the desktop. So you can see here that the Drupal 6.9 has been extracted and I've pointed the arrow to this folder and we're simply going to rename it and just call it Drupal instead of Drupal 6.9. Like I said, we're going to rename it, call it Drupal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to double click on the Drupal 6 folder and as you can see this is the Drupal file structure I'm just gonna put it and show it to you in a list format all of these folders and files along with the WAMP installation that we just did earlier is what allows you to run Drupal on your Windows machine now we're gonna do another step that um, you're gonna see if you purchase the $47 a month full Drupal for non techies tutorial where I'm going to set up the database. We don't have time to set up the database right now. I just wanted to show you a preview of how you can install WAMP and Drupal on your computer. So I had earlier gone to the Drupal.org website to grab the Drupal 6 zip file. which you can see in the screenshot. I've pointed an arrow to the download Drupal 6.9 link and that's where I downloaded the Drupal. So let's go back to the desktop. What we're going to do now is we're going to move the Drupal 6 point folder into the C WAMP WW folder. To do this we're going to open up another window I'm going to show you where we're going to move it to first. So first we want to go to the C drive. Right here. Then since we installed WAMP on our computer, we installed it in the C drive, which is this arrow that I've pointed to. 
So we're going to double click on the WAMP folder. And we're going to want to put our Drupal installation in the www directory. Currently, you see this index.php file in the www directory. And this is what it looks like if we were to go to localhost and see what the index page looks like. We've gone to the WAMP icon and we clicked on the submenu and we selected localhost.